Well, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Melissa Mazor, and I am a nurse scientist in the Community Outreach and Engagement Program at the Tisch Cancer Institute. And I am so delighted to be with all of you today. Um, so to start, if we can go around and please introduce yourself and provide just a very brief background um, about yourself and your role in cancer care. Hello, everyone. My name is Kristen Rolfo. I'm a professor in medicine at the Sinai ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, and I'm the Associate Director for Clinical Research at the Center of Thoracic Oncology. My focus of interest is uh, cancer care for thoracic oncology patients, uh, and also specifically I'm working in drug development and uh, biomarkers in liquid biopsy. Hi, I'm Dolores Moorhead, and I work for the Women's Cancer Resource Center, where I am a Community Engagement Director and Client Support Clinician. And what that includes is I provide patient navigation to our clients that we serve. I also provide therapy to them and lead support groups and work with different researchers around the needs of diverse populations. Hello, everybody. I'm Laverne McDonald, and I'm a community scientist with the ICON School Mount Sinai Project. I'm also a social studies teacher at a small independent school in Manhattan. And I was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2018. But I think it's also important that in the moment we have lots of new avenues for communication that we're exploiting these avenues as well in order to bring, um, in order to challenge sort of the history and also to bring new information to communities. So I'm thinking specifically about how might we begin to use social media, for example. Um, I know when I'm on Instagram, I'm kid because I guess the algorithms are organized in particular ways for me. I'm getting lots and lots of offers about clinical trials that supposedly match my particular biomarker. Um, but I'm thinking, are there ways in which um, you know, clinicians and, and care institutions, researchers might in fact begin to exploit those kinds of spaces to begin, as I said, to challenge the sort of history uh, the elephant in the room, and then also to provide new information to um, to underserved populations. Another medium uh, that I'm thinking about also is um, more conventional media. So I'm also thinking about radio. I remember uh, just recently when the president talked about Moonshot, there was a flurry of, um, you know, think pieces and, and uh, radio broadcast pieces about that sort of looking and you know, taking the long view on, on cancer in our country. At the same time, I was hopeful that a number of conventional media houses, um, perhaps black media houses, perhaps a Latinx media houses might begin to create cancer desks um, or just looking at illness in particular, looking at disability in particular, so that we can begin to sort of normalize these conditions in our community and begin to resource our communities properly. Um, so when we think about the ways in which people have not had access, that we begin to think about health delivery as another such access. So yes, we can talk about banking, we can talk about housing, all of these other kinds of, 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 of issues that have shaped our communities, impacted our communities in deleterious ways, but I think also beginning to center conversations about health and health challenges is also deeply important. Um, in terms of communications uh, with families and communities, I'd like to see just greater visibility um, around uh, lung cancer in particular, uh, but around issues that may challenge individuals and families and communities. Um, you know, as I've been, I've been working with a particular group and talking about just free billboards in communities, for example. So at bus stops, you know, I, I get a lot of information from bus stops. When I'm walking my dog, I'm always taking pictures of bus stop notices because they're so they're so wonderfully innovative, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so just thinking about ways in which you might uh, engage communities in conventional and unconventional ways um, that people are perhaps creating art around mm -hmm. illnesses, right? So, how do we center um, the realities that we're living in music and poetry and theater? Mm -hmm. Uh, there's something coming up at the Signature Theater, uh, for example, and I'm making an ad for this, but uh, there's a playwright who's uh, centering her letters with, with a, a former student who had cancer. And I'm thinking that's the kind of thing I'd actually like to see that norm, norm, you know, makes it the norm that people are in community with people 
with cancer, having rich, deep, thoughtful relationships with people with cancer, and that we're sort of all navigating complex relationships, that it becomes part of the fabric of our engagement with each other.